a blessed Monday to us. One very important reminder that the Gospel of St. Luke tells the crowd, and of course to us as well, from today's Gospel reading is this reminder. It's actually an exhortation. No? Uh, in Cebuano, it is actually di lang pagpahinumdum, kundi pagpahimangno. Take care how you hear. Now, in our times now, we know there is an explosion of what we call information. Uh, when I was answering a, uh, a puzzle, the, the item yesterday was the, the little things that are actually available online, no? kanang mga little programs ni Ingon dito, it's consuming the world. And this is something to do with so many different informations that we have. Uh, not, not to emphasize the, the so-called scams on the text. Now, there are so many things that people say. What are they saying? Well, we have to take it into account because this is the information age. But it is also how they are being said that we take into account what we need to observe and what we need to embrace. Even in the preaching of the gospel, even in the reading of scriptures, even in listening to evangelists. However, it is not enough how it is being said. But the most important thing is not only what we hear being said in whatever manner, but it is in how we listen or we hear. Because the how to listen is actually part of the process or dynamics of understanding. And this is the reason why whenever we, it comes to the Word of God, because even the Word of God can be used, can be abused as well, we have to understand what, it is, what is being said. And one particular thing about it is its relationship to the reason and the purpose of faith, which is for us to be able to prepare and to understand things. So that we will not be in a topsy-turvy thing. And we are not just doing things precisely because it's out of fear that we are doing it. After all, fear is the opposite of faith. Or in other words, whatever is said, it is to develop faith in us. It is not to scare the wits, the wits out of us. That's why we have to be very careful, not only with what we hear. And what we hear, of course, we normally understand it now. Unsamani, kanang kuan bani, kanang tinuod bani o dili, fake news bani o dili. And then, another reason, another thing, and more importantly is, how are we embracing whatever is said to us? Whether shocking or not, whether truthful or hurtful, because whenever it comes to the Word of God, hurtful or not, pleasant or otherwise, it is always for our good. It is always directed for our salvation. It is for the good of all, for the good of humanity, for the good of the world, and the rest of creation. Amen.